sometimes you need to configure the network from the command line. I have a machine here which has been configured with a minimal installation. That's all it has, uh, nothing else really configured. And I want to configure the networking and I don't have a GUI because it's a minimal install. And so I need to first log into the machine. Once I'm in the machine, I can type in IP ADDR and I can see that I have no IP address. My ENS32 is missing. So if I try doing something like ping google.com, it gets nothing because it doesn't know where Google is. The default configuration or the configuration for your networking is in the etc sysconfig network scripts directory. There are multiple files in here that um, are used for network configuration. If you have multiple interfaces, such as my machine has both a local back and ENS32, I can see each one has a script and I can look at these scripts. So here's cat uh, ifcfg dash and press tab twice and I can see ENS32 and LO for the local loopback. If I look at LO, I can see this is what the file contains. If I look at my ENS32 file, I can see it contains this. A little different. Um, it's trying to use DHCP for getting an IP address, but DHCP apparently is not responding. And so I want to manually configure this. So I use, um, with a minimal install, I can't use nano, so I have to use VI. So I use VI, IFCFG, ENS32. I go into this, and it starts in command mode, and I press I to go in insert mode. And then I go, and the first thing I need to change is the boot protocol can't be DHCP if there's no DHCP server. So I change that to none. I'll go down lower and I want to make sure that it starts up automatically on boot. So I change the on boot to yes. All right, now I want to configure my IP address. My machine um, needs an IP address. I do that with an IP ADDR zero for the first IP address. You can have multiple IP addresses for a single interface if you want. However, that doesn't mean multiple interfaces, it's just multiple IP addresses. So I'm going to give the IP address of 10.230.151.123. I need to give it a mask, a network mask, but this network mask or subnet mask is in a prefix format. So in the CIDR notation, so I do prefix zero, and that's going to be equal to 16, which is a 255.255.0.0. Network mask. I also need to give it the gateway. The gateway is zero, which is going to be equal to 10.230.0.1. I can pass in the DNS, DNS1 as 8.8.8.8, which is Google's DNS servers. I can tell my domain, which is going to be example.com. All right. So now I've got this all in here, and I can press escape to leave my insert mode. Press colon, W, Q for white, write, and quit. All right, now I need to restart my network. So do system CTL restart network. And then I use the IP ADDR command again to figure out what IP address I have. And I can see it is 10.23.151.123. The IP address is set. I can also verify my gateway using the IP route command. And I can see that I have a default gateway via 10.23.0.1. I can look at my DNS information by cat out the etc resolve.com file without the trailing E on resolve. And I can see my name server is 8.8.8.8. .8 and it says my search domain is example.com. So it has created all of this data. It's all available. So you can try paying Google. And it starts paying. And it's working. So I press control C. And now I know that my networking is working. Resolution's working. The whole thing's working.